year was good from the point of view of our product launches. Uh, we have uh, Movies Now 2, which I think was a great success. Uh, it, it launched uh, with, honestly, not the expectation to sort of go into the top five uh, at the stage that we launched. Uh, but the way it quickly ramped up uh, and was able to take on HBO and stay at number four uh, was really heartening. And uh, the product also, uh, the brand also, I think was quite exciting. Uh, I think I loved working on it, the brand campaign when it came uh, from the agency and the team. Uh, so I think that was uh, one, of the, one of the bright uh, parts of our last year's performance. Uh, besides that, of course, uh, it has been uh, quite uh, an exciting and eventful year for our news cluster with uh, Times Now facing a management change uh, after a long number of years and uh, it was you know it was good that the team was able to sort of uh, you know come absolutely on top of the situation and, uh, and everything has been good so i think uh, from both the uh, you know both the verticals in which we operate news as well as uh, movies we've had uh, success stories and therefore it's it's great from that point of view uh, there was some improvement uh, overall in zoom uh, in the last uh, two quarters, it, it went up uh, over a period of time with, with uh, changes that we made to the FPC and uh, a little bit of tinkering on distribution. So overall, that was good. Uh, other than product, product of course, uh, the two other areas that uh, media CEOs would be concerned about, distribution. Uh, we've had a great run on distribution. I think uh, now we have sort of started getting accepted as a as a reasonably significant uh, broadcaster uh, with you know a decent number of channels in SD and HD and also leading uh, the the English entertainment and English news uh, uh, genres and uh, therefore we have started seeing a difference in the way that we have been treated by uh, you know our partners our DTH operators and MSOs that is a very important change that has happened in uh, in this year I mean, we were working towards this but uh, this year has been great from that point of view. Uh, the third is revenue, of course. Uh, we've had a great run rate of revenue over the last uh, three years. I mean, for me, actually, this is uh, my third year getting over. I came in 2014, uh, February, so this is my third year. So, uh, therefore, for, for in, in a lot of ways, for me, it was a report card year. So, you, you do a lot of things and you expect certain uh, basic results. So, from that point of view, we've been able to keep the same uh, uh, clip of uh, overall uh, you know, scale and top line growth uh, which we've been able to sustain except for of course the demonetization phase which uh, you know which hit I think everybody from November onwards otherwise I think we are pretty happy with the way uh, revenue has grown and financially where we are today pretty good we have to sort of look at it as uh, you know uh, end of the consolidation f of the english uh, leadership that we have uh, you know uh, we have we have we have chosen and uh, we i think have, have effectively been able to execute and deliver that so from that point of view uh, product i think more or less is in a great place products uh, distribution in a good place so i think brand work remains uh, some some bits of brand work remains and uh, you know consolidating the re leadership eventually is uh, in getting paid for what we are really worth and uh, you know that's not a you know one day job and i think that's that's the uh, that's the last part of our work my work i think in the current phase uh, is that is remaining so i i would look at 2017 calendar 2017 and fy 2018 therefore as uh, that consolidation and and getting to the monetization uh, you know final stage